OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn coming at you with a couponing after dark, except for it's not dark. <laughs> I'm at the right Aid. It's like after seven. Uh, but you know, daylight savings were lighter for longer. Uh, but I am here in the evening doing some couponing. If you are new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you are excited about writing couponing this week. It is going to be another hot week at the Rite Aid. I was trying to decide what to do. You're probably already aware, but just in case you're not, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is going to be 10 times the Rite Aid points. Rite Aid points convert into bonus cash. Um, so I definitely want to do some shopping towards the end of the week. Although I really like to get my couponing done at the beginning of the week. Then the end of the week is just like, if something pops up, great, I can go do it. I really hate waiting till the end of the week, but I definitely want to take advantage of those extra points. However, I was still dang excited to get to Rite Aid this week. So I came to do a couple of transactions. We have an in-ad booster of spend 50, earn back 10. We will not have an in-ad booster, OMG, can you even believe it, next week or the week after. I heart radio, I heart radio, I heart Rite Aid .com always post the ad preview early, which is so appreciated. I use her site often. Uh, next two weeks, there is no in-ad booster. We've had an in-ad booster for, I, I don't even, I can't remember the last time we haven't had one. That's how long we've been getting them every single week, which has been so incredible. I think we had one every week in April, one every week in May. It's been at least two months. So anyways, we do not have one next week. If you have a Rite Aid near you, I know not all areas do, but if you have a Rite Aid near you and you've been on the fence about starting couponing at Rite Aid, number one, it is the easiest drugstore to coupon at. Number two, I have a video linked in the description box where I walk you through how to coupon at Rite Aid. So to give you all of the basics to help you feel comfortable. And number three, do it this week because we have an in-ad booster where you're going to earn additional bonus cash. So I don't know, maybe next week I'll be taking a break from Rite Aid. I haven't really dove into the ad very much to see if it's going to be worth it to go without the in-ad booster. But anyways, um, that's it for the intro. Let's just get into the video. So I'm just going to bring you two transactions today and then maybe on Thursday or Friday, I'll bring you the rest of what I do. It's awfully late in the week, so let me know if you want to see the rest of what I do. Uh, if you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Oh, let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Tuesday. We are in the Rite Aid. Going to do a couple of easy uh, transactions. Check your email. Not only do we get a barcode for the Spend 50 Earn Back 10 in our email as we normally do, they also gave us a 5 off 25 this week. I'll leave it right here in case you don't get the email so you can take a screenshot so that five off 25 can be used unlimited times all week long. You can do the spend 50, earn 10 once per card per barcode. This is the one that comes in the email. There is also one posted right in the ad on the Rite Aid app. There's one on their Facebook page and there's one um, on the website. Coupons are sweet and real deals have posted all of the screenshots of those barcodes if you need to get them. So I'm going to be using the email one today and I'm going for, I'm going to start the household deal. I'm not going to finish it in this transaction and I was completely shocked. My store always only has one of the gain scent beads. It has become my new favorite scent bead and they have four of them. I was so shocked. Anyways, I'm grabbing one at $12.99 and I have a $3 digital coupon on the Rite Aid app. Since I'm not finishing the spend 30 earn back 10 household deal on P&G products, I won't earn any bonus cash in this transaction, but deals track. So I can finish the deal sometime later in the week, which I'm gonna do. 
when the points are 10 times. But I do have this bonus cash challenge that I will now complete and I'll earn back an additional $5 in bonus cash challenge money for my gain bonus cash challenge. I go over bonus cash challenges in the how to coupon at Rite Aid video that is linked down in the description box, but you can only find these bonus cash challenges on Rite Aid's website, not in the app. You have to select the ones you want and they are based off of your shopping habits. So if you are new to couponing at Rite Aid, it's likely you won't have this same bonus cash challenge. All right, next up, we're going for the double dip on the batteries. So we have, there's so many battery deals, you really have to be careful, but we have select batteries that are buy one, get one 50% off. My store has the double tags up. I know not every store will. Uh, and they are on a weekly promotion of buy two, earn back $10 in bonus cash, and a monthly promotion of buy two, earn back $3 in bonus cash. The weekly deal is a limit of two, and the monthly deal is a limit of four. If you're unsure if the batteries you wanna get are double dipping, you can always go to Rite Aid's website, and it will show you what that particular product is giving back in bonus cash. And this one shows two different bonus cash amounts. So at the buy one, get one 50% off price, these two are gonna total me $10.48. I'll earn back $10 in bonus cash for the weekly deal and $3 in bonus cash for the monthly deal, making these free plus a $2.51 moneymaker. My store had cheaper batteries, but these I know go in our garage door opener and our car key fob, so I'm grabbing those for this transaction. Next up, I'm gonna do the Colgate deal. These are on sale for $3.99 each, and they're on promotion for buy two, earn back $7 in bonus cash with a limit of two. I'm just gonna do it one time in this transaction. So these two will total me $7.98. I have a $2 digital coupon that'll leave me to pay $5.98. I'll earn back $7 in bonus cash. Then I'm gonna submit to the coupons app for a $2 coupon reimbursement on the second Colgate that I didn't use a coupon for. It's gonna make these two a 302 moneymaker. And on this card, I do have a Colgate bonus cash challenge. I won't even hit the first tier because I have to spend $8 and I'm only spending $7.98, but I'm gonna do the Colgate deal again in my second transaction. So I'll earn a little bit of bonus cash challenge money back. All right, we've got summer items on promotion for spend 25, earn back $5 in bonus cash. It is a limit of two per card, but it doesn't track. So if you spend 50, you're only gonna earn $5 in bonus cash. Or if you spend 30, it's not gonna track a few dollars towards your next one. I'm grabbing that cooler. Everything is 50% off. So there's a whole bunch of items that you can choose from. I wanted a new cooler, but I'm just giving you a view. Look at how cute that bag is. There's a ton of cute cooler bags as well. Everything again, 50% off and spend 25, earn back $5 in bonus cash. I think it was a little bit better of a deal last week, uh, but I just didn't make it back to the store because I got a stupid cold. Anyways, I'm feeling better and I'm grabbing my darn cooler with, with at half off, it's $27.49. Can you believe they sell this for $54 dang dollars? All right, so this is my first transaction on my one card. I have the cooler, the gain uh, fireworks, the Colgate, and the two batteries. It totals me $58.94. So I'll have the cashier scan the email barcode of spend 50, earn back 10, and the one we got in our email for $5 off 25. Then I'm also gonna have them scan this five off of 25 that Real Deals had posted because I'm spending over $50. I'm actually at 58 because I have $5 in digital coupons. I needed to be at least at 55 to use both of the five off 25 coupons. After all my coupons, I'll pay $43.94 for this transaction just using bonus cash to pay. I'll earn back a total of $35 in bonus cash. $5 for my bonus cash challenge on gain and submit to the coupons app for $2 back for my second Colgate. Makes my cost $1.94, which I think is fantastic because I'm getting that dang cooler. And my next transaction on this card later in the week will be a huge moneymaker. So I'm so great with this transaction. 
All right, I'm switching cards and now I'm gonna do a transaction on my second card. And since my store is so stocked in the Gain Fireworks and they're my favorite, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these. Again, starting the PNG deal on this card of spend 30, earn back 10. But I'm only at 25.98, so I won't actually earn any bonus cash in this transaction for these two products. Uh, I'm gonna show you a printable coupon a little bit later. I was able to print two. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to use my digital coupon and a printable or both of my printables. But I also have a gain bonus cash challenge on this card. I've already hit my first tier of that and accounted for earning $5 in bonus cash. If I would have only bought one gain product, I would have been four cents short of completing this bonus cash altogether. And I'm happy to pick up my favorite scent beads. So now buying two of them, I'm going to complete this bonus cash challenge and earn back an additional $9 in bonus cash challenge money for this bonus cash challenge. My store was having all kinds of trouble with their security thing. That's why you keep hearing beeping. Uh, I'm gonna do the battery deal on this card as well, except for I'm gonna do it twice. And I was trying to figure out which batteries I wanted to get, because you can make this an even bigger money maker if your store carries the cheaper batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the two that I know for sure that we will eventually probably need or somebody I know will need. And then I decided to grab, I don't know what these ones go to, but they're $5.99 each. So I'm gonna grab two of these. So these four batteries total me $19.46 and I will earn back a total of $26 in bonus cash making all four of these free plus a $6.53 money maker. All right, I'm gonna finish out this transaction with some cover girl. Uh, I'm gonna grab one of the eye pencils at $5.49. These are on promotion for buy two earn back five or buy three earn back 10. And then I'm gonna grab two of the concealers that are priced at $6.99 in my store. This promotion also includes Rimmel, Sally Hansen. The ad does state is a limit of two, but it's been reported it's only working once. I'm going to use a $4 coupon for one of the face products. I have a digital coupon for the other one of the face products. Apparently, I didn't clip the $4 eye coupon and it's no longer available to clip. And I didn't bring a coupon with me. So I'm going to be submitting to the coupons app for $4 back on the eye product as a coupon reimbursement. So that'll drop me down to $7.47 for these products and I'll earn back $10 in bonus cash for buying three. Makes them a $2.53 moneymaker. If you have some eye coupons or clipped the eye coupon to your card, you could have an even bigger moneymaker. Okay, I went on the PG Good site and I was able to print off $3 coupons for the Gain products. And it actually let me get two prints on my laptop, which has never happened before. It's two different serial numbers, so they're both valid coupons. So I was trying to decide if I wanted to use both the printables or one printable and one digital because CVS, my CVS does take expired coupons. That's the only store in my area that takes them. They're only valid for 24 hours, so I have to decide what I want to do. All right, so all these products total me $64.91. So again, on this card, I'm going to use the email barcode, the 5 off 25 that we got emailed to us, and the 5 off 25 black and white copy. After all of my coupons, I'll be left to pay $40.91. I'll earn back a total of $46 in bonus cash, $9 in bonus cash challenge money for my gain, and submit to the coupons app for a $4 reimbursement on my cover girl eye. Makes this transaction a dang $18 money maker. Let's head to the kitchen table. But before we head to the kitchen table, <laughs> both of these transactions, I did the trick that I've already talked about in previous videos that I learned from Real Deals and Jana over at Miss Empty Nester. Go follow both of those ladies. I hit no that I did not want to use my bonus cash. I had the cashier scan all of my coupons. Then I had them scan my barcode in the app for my Rite Aid card and it will pop back up and ask you if you wanna use your bonus cash. That way the cashier doesn't accidentally finalize the transaction and create a problem. All right, let's head to the kitchen table. All right, well, there goes Clark. He's going upstairs with the girls. Uh, we are back at the kitchen table. 
with this Rite Aid haul at the beginning of the week. And uh, I told you hot deals at Rite Aid this week. And I'll, uh, just a little bit, I'm kicking myself. Like, why didn't I wait until Thursday? <laughs> I get too excited. So anyways, I did one transaction on each card. So my first transaction was the two packages of batteries, the Gain, the Colgate, and the cooler. I was so excited to get that. Super excited for any of you that snagged it last week. I think it was a little bit better of a deal last week because we were getting back $15 in bonus cash for spending $50. And it was $10 back for spending $35. This week it's five for spending. It doesn't matter. I'm excited to get it. So let's take a look at my receipt. I had the cashier scan the cooler first so that one of my five off 25s would attach to that. And then I had her scan the batteries. You'll see my other five off 25 on that one because uh, they will attach to whatever you scan first. There's my gain with my load to card coming off, my two Colgates with one of my load to cards coming off. Well, I just had one. And then there's my two batteries that buy one, get one 50% off. $43.93. $43.94 was my subtotal. I used um, all bonus cash except for as a dollar short in bonus cash. So I did have to pay a dollar using my PayPal debit card and I earned back $35 in bonus cash for this transaction. So I earned back um, the $5 for the summer deal, the Duracell, the Duracell, because that's a double dip, the Colgate and the email barcode. Is this right? Yeah. Oh, I wonder, this is on, must just be on every receipt for the, the makeup deal. That's weird. I didn't buy makeup on this card. Um, so anyways, and then I have $12.99 tracking towards the Procter & Gamble deal. Of course, I didn't earn anything for that. So for that first transaction, I paid $43.94. I earned back $35 in bonus cash. Finished my gain a bonus cash challenge on this card. So I'll get another $5 back in bonus cash challenge money. And submitted to the coupons app for $2 back on the other Colgate. So it makes my cost $1.94 for this transaction, which I have another transaction plan. It's going to be a huge moneymaker on this card. So I'm perfectly happy with $1.94 for a dang brand new cooler. All right, then I did my second transaction where I grabbed the two gain. I grabbed four of the batteries and I did the cover girl on this card. So let's take a look at my receipt on this one. So there is my CoverGirl I rang up for $4.69 instead of $5.49, but my CoverGirl face rang up for $7.49 instead of $6.99 like the tag said. But you can see my $4 load to card came off and then I used the one paper coupon for that. And then there's my two gain. I used one of my printables and used the load to card coupon for the other. I just decided to save the second one. And then I had the Duracell scan first. Um, so that's where you're going to see my five off 25. So for this transaction, I paid $41.11. I used all bonus cash on this card to pay for that. And I earned back $46 in bonus cash. So I earned back the Duracell, the Duracell, the Duracell, the Duracell. Uh, the email barcode. This is on this receipt as well, but I did buy on this one. I'm tracking $25.98 for the Procter & Gamble. Again, didn't spend enough to even earn that one yet. And then I did get the um, Sally Hansen Rimmler CoverGirl. It shows that I got it twice because I got the $10. So for this second transaction, I paid $41.11. Um, I earned back $46 in bonus cash. Finished my gain bonus cash challenge on this card for another $9 in bonus cash challenge money. I actually hit the next tier of points. So 1,000 points equals $2 in bonus cash. So two more dollars from Rite Aid points. And then submitted to the coupons app for $4 back on the CoverGirl I. So I earned $61 for this transaction where I paid $41.11. It makes it free plus a nineteen eighty nine a money maker, and I didn't even finish the Procter and Gamble yet. The second transaction is going to be an awesome one as well, but I am going to hold off. So everything that you see on this table today, these two transactions, was free plus a seventeen dollar and ninety five cent money maker. 
so happy to get the Gain Fireworks because it is my favorite and we're on our last one. So there you go. Uh, here's why I'm kicking myself. If I understand this correctly, so I earned 651 points in this transaction during the 10 times. That's going to be 6,500 points if I'm understanding that correctly. 6,000 Rite Aid points translates into $12 of bonus cash. 651 points translates into just over a dollar. That's a big difference. <laughs> I should have waited until Thursday. Again, I got so excited. At least I got part of my couponing done. So I'll wait till Thursday. I'll do, I have planned one transaction on each card already. Um, finishing up the Procter & Gamble on both. And then I'm going to finish up a couple of monthly deals that we have going on that I want to finish up. And I don't know, maybe because of those points, maybe I'll plan a third transaction. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, there you go. That is what I have for you. If you enjoyed this video, super hot week at Rite Aid. I hope you can make it and score some awesome deals. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Going to see you again soon.